Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Richard Greening. I am the Global Technical Director of the DDC Group. Thank you for attending today. Uh, today, well, we're going to start with a bit about DDC uh, and DDC FPO. We're not conventionally uh, an IT developer. That doesn't mean over our 30 years we haven't developed a lot of technology to support our customers. But traditionally, we are a BPO provider. All right, so we're a business process out. We're not the only ones here, there's a few others. But we process over 300,000 shipments a night and we primarily serve the LTL market and we, we believe to be the, the market leader, certainly within LTL freight today. The reason we're here today is to talk about DDC Sync. Um, so this is a commercial offering that we're offering to both carriers, but we're also offering it uh, primarily to tech partners like you. Any of you guys out there that need to take a consistently good image in your application, right? Because that's our struggle. What we've seen over the last five years with our partners is that they've used a lot of uh, technology. Uh, well, they want to process it faster. So primarily what we do is, what we used to do traditionally was we used to process the bill of lading in the back office. So all these carriers now want to, to innovate and use your technology um, in cab and get the bill faster, get the, get the freight moving, right? I get it, makes perfect sense causes a problem for us. Because if, if your image isn't good enough, we can't process it. And then that freight doesn't move any quicker. And everyone we've tried and everything we've tried just takes a photo. Um, and we looked at everything that's on the market. We can't find anything that can mirror what we see in a back office from a feed scanner. So four years ago, we set out to create DDC Sync. It started with our smart capture solution, which we're pretty much going to demo for you guys today. Uh, and what makes this difference to just a driver taking a photo is we have a control post to ensure that the driver takes a consistently good image and is intuitively taught to do that. So this is going to be our demo. So what you can see up here is our home screen. You can see the, the, the BOL capture screen at the top there. And what we're going to do as we go through this, we've got four control posts. We've got uh, document control, border control, image control, and OCR validation that we do on the device. Because if the driver doesn't have signal and we can't do that, then he, he's on the road before the freight's uh, been processed. And we, that was a big challenge for us during this process. So if we go through this, Matt, if you can just open that up. This is the first screen. This is the document control post. What you can see here is got the ability to scroll up and down, select the number of pages in his bill of lading. This will ensure that the driver uh, captures an image for every page that he has, right? And it will force him back through the loop uh, when, he, when he needs to do so. Below this, we've got the ability to take a photo of a, of a pro number. Uh, I get if you guys have dispatch systems, which everyone does, or, or you are a dispatch provider, we want to talk to you. But, and you already have the pro number and you won't need this section, but we just want to show you that we've, we've got everyone covered. So what you're going to see here is the ability, if the driver needs to capture a pro number, there's a barcode reader in there that can take an image. It can be, it can, uh, be the business rules can be changed to allow for prefixes, check digits, et cetera. Whatever your business requirements, we can mirror and match that. And if that doesn't work, there's also the option in there to take the, the, the number manually, which we do. We make them take it twice just to val validate the, the number. Second stage is border control. Border control, for us, is really the secret source. What you'll see on here on this tremendously black screen is there is no button for the driver to actually snap an image like we all do on our phone every day. Because to us, that means the driver is controlling the image. We don't want that. We want to control the image. And that's why, fundamentally why we built Sync. So what you can see on these screens, these, these indicators, these are our depth perception indicators. My Matt now picks the phone up off the desk. You're going to see our augmented reality border. This is tracking in real time the bill. It's looking for something that resembles a bill of lading. It ensures that we get the whole page and there's no thumbs or foreign objects in there. For the driver now to take an image, all he needs to do is touch one of the augmented reality border corners with one of the depth perception borders. And when he does that, our, our technology tells the phone to adjust the focus, adjust the contrast, and ensure that the device takes the best image possible given the lighting conditions available. When the phone is ready to take the image, as Matt's going to describe now, you'll see we will decide when, the, when you get the optimum photograph. Okay, and what you can see here is actually grab the desk. This leads us nicely into the image control. Normally, this does a really good job of just cropping it, but because of his legs and stuff down there, it jumped down a bit. 
the image control piece is really just designed that if you do get a foreign object in, you've got the ability to easily move that, uh, as you've just seen Matt do, to ensure uh, that you've got no foreign objects, Coke cans, uh, or whatever else might be in the cab. So now that the driver's happy with this image, he'll hit continue. It will flatten, do skew, and rotate. And if he's happy with all the information on the screen, he'll hit continue again. This is the last piece. This is our OCR validation. So as I said before, this is running locally on the phone because if the driver doesn't have cell signal, what you don't want is that to be rejected when he's halfway off to his next stop. You want it rejected in real time, regardless of the cell signal, and, and he has the ability to, uh, to retake that image before he moves on. That's how we, how we ensure that the image we get is consistent to what we used to get from a feed scanner in the back office. The last part here is if there's any additional data fields you need to capture, we can add those in there too. The example here is the terminal scan. Um, and, we've, uh, and, and, and we can add in here free text fields, or we can add drop downs, whatever additional metadata you might need the driver to create, we can easily add those into. So if we hit continue from we map, that's the completion of the shipment. And if the driver ever needs to go back to that, he can go to the BOL management screen, go to uploaded, and he can see that image and zoom in and check the data if he needs to. So we haven't got much time left. If you go back to the main screen map, there's other functionality that we've built for our clients in the last four years that they've asked for to do with driver retention, gamification, driver community. Uh, if you want to talk to us about any of those things, we're in section B. That's where our booth is. My name is Richard. This is my colleague, Matt. Please come and see us. Thank you for your time. <laughs>